Many municipalities have already been doing this, but now they're legally required to do it. In the past, citizens had to drive to their city hall or other meeting place to find out what was on the agenda. Volcanales says the law is another way to give the public better access to local government. He adds the public also has a responsibility to be informed. We're using the, the technology that we have available to eliminate not only excuses from the public for not being involved, but for the for people saying that the government didn't tell them what was going on. Well, Canales believes websites like Facebook that are run by local governments are also required to post their agendas, but the law only requires a good faith attempt to be in compliance and there is no penalty for not following the law. Well, as a reminder, in observance of Columbus Day, some government or city offices will be closed today. If you come across a closed business or office, the hours of operation should resume as normal tomorrow. Your local emergency services will remain open. Well, the Port of Brownsville has a new multi-million dollar grant for a reconstruction project. The Cargo Dock 3 reconstruction project now has an $11.5 million grant to work with. On September 28th, Texas Department of Transportation approved $240 million in funding for 31 construction projects. Now, the funding is intended to help increase trade, improve safety, and provide a stronger supply chain for the state and nation. The Port of Brownsville's Cargo Dock 3 was among the projects that have been selected. While we always talk about shopping and supporting local, and now Danielle's got our chance to do just that, but by the water. Yeah, Adam, and now that my car has no more bird poop, <laughs> we can get in it and go to the event. Okay, I'm down. I will not get in it before. <laughs> I know. I was just embarrassed to drive it, okay? Yeah. But you know what? Uh, Port Isabel Antique and Flea Market is the perfect place to take the car out because it is one of the best ways to shop around for unique finds while also supporting local enterprise. And what is great about this market, unlike others that we do love to go to here in the Rio Grande Valley, is that it's mainly coastal themed. So that means that a lot of Port Isabel, the good Vista and South Padre Island residents are going to sell their items on site, many of which of course have island themes and vibes and that means shell jewelry um, and then you know seashell blankets and artwork and so much more. It is a great family friendly event to go to and the kiddos especially are going to love munching on things like originally popped popcorn there on site, great tasting candy and seafood snacks and oftentimes there's also live musical entertainment that you can dance to while you know you're learning to shop and see what's out there and it is a chance also to meet local residents. I mean, just get to know your island community. Plus, we cannot forget about our furry friends who are also invited to the party. I know I've brought my puppy Laika. He had a blast walking around and I know Adam has two uh, fur babies at home. They would love it too. I mean, it's just fun for all. Literally, it is a pretty cool collection also of local creations and collectibles and hey, even plants that you can check out and oftentimes hand blown glass and handcrafted antiques, tools, upcycled and recycled items, repurposed treasures and custom gifts and even estate items. So it is all happening on Saturday at Beulah Park at Port Isabel from nine in the morning to 4 p.m. And you can visit portisabelle-texas.com or call 956-433-1015 for all of the details. That was my fault. <laughs> I was going to say, Adam, you know, pulled up the script a little late there, but it's okay. Um, I didn't memorize the number. I will next time. <laughs> but you know what? This is a really cool event, guys. Um, I know I was telling you that I went and I bought some beautiful jewelry. Yeah. And gosh, it was just like, yeah, make sure you go with like water because it's hot. And they have slushies, though, okay. so it's okay. Yeah, hopefully it's cooler by then. It actually mm -hmm. might be because yeah. we're starting to see cooler temperatures I hope. Uh, these next couple of days. We are going to have a slight warm up just because our winds are going to be shifting out from the south. So, you know, that warm Gulf moisture filtering in, but we are going to get a second cold front. And this is a season that we're going to get cold fronts after cold mm. fronts. Yay. Yes. I'm not mad about that. So yes. we can go shopping out there <laughs> right. by the sea with that sea breeze. It's oh, going to be nice. Yes. Buy some nice. seashell jewelry, you said. And also they have ties. I saw a tie ties. with some really cool like lobsters. Where is my tie? Hey, Danielle, oh, you have to go with me. Right? Yes. She's just teasing us about all this stuff. I know. I know. You know what? Tomorrow you need to bring some seashell jewelry or something that that um, something from the market. Oh yes. Yeah. Like you can buy me something. <laughs> oh, talk to each other on the seashell. Yeah. Seashell. seashell. Sally sold seashell. Yeah. The, by the seashore. You know shore. that yeah. word is not easy. A seashell. Just, yeah. Oh, that is a little seashell. wild. Yeah. 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 Seashell. But <laughs> it sounds like a lot of fun. I love that you said they have yes. that popcorn and plants. Ooh, oh my gosh. You know, more. I'm a plant dad. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like a succulent? Is that like? No, more than just succulents. Like he has a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, I have, I have so you have like a green thumb. I do. 
Oh, yes. wow. I didn't used to, but I feel like, like I'm more dedicated. Oh, yes. You know, and yeah. I, I pay attention to them more. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I, I feel like I have two kids, which are my two dogs, mm -hmm. and all these plants. So. And oh, wow. You can bring your dogs to the event while you pick up more kids, the plants. The plants, yeah. yeah I'm down. I'm going to try it out. For your little yeah. family. Yeah. Right. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Danielle. Still to come, a disease that is hard to diagnose, which prompts many women to not know they could have. We have details on that coming up next after the break. And today you can expect those high temperatures to